This is the entrance to Frontier Village. So this big tree is where the Nopon live. Ah, Bird Lady. Welcome back, Bird Lady. I wish to speak with the village chief. Will you permit us to enter? My pleasure, my pleasure. I shall take you to the village chief. Follow me. Frontier Village. Melia Antigua has returned. I request an audience with your chief. Chief, will you hear my request? Melia here. Bird Lady here. <coughs> Melia back. Bird Lady back. Bird Lady? My dear Melia, it's good to see you again so soon. And you look so well. And what of your men? They are at one with the Bionis. They sacrificed their lives so that I might escape. But this is not my reason for coming. These Homs need your help. Will you be so kind as to listen to their request? What could a hum hum need of me? They require safe passage to Aerith Sea. I see no reason to deny them. And Melia, what of you? I have unfinished business in this region. Once these homes are safely on their way, I shall be on mine as well. That girl. Something's troubling her. We found her half dead and all alone. But I don't suppose she'll tell us the reason any time soon. Maybe we can help. I'll go and talk to her.
Melia, you're welcome to come with us. Is it true? Were you alone in the forest? <laughs> that thing must be stopped by my hand. This is my pledge to those that have died. Is it... wounded? I see. The Telethia is hurt and lies in rest. Wounded by a girl. Wounded by a girl? You don't mean you're going to fight the Telethia? <gasps> How do you know of the Telethia? When I went to collect the Aether Crystals, some Telethia attacked me. I managed to destroy them and get away. You defeated Telethia? Who... who are you? The Monado. So that sword can... To tell the truth, they were the Telethia's spawn. Someone told me the primary Telethia is healing somewhere in the forest. It was you, wasn't it? You hurt the Telethia. It... Melia... The Telethia escaped from our homeland, and I am tasked with killing it. It cannot remain free. For the sake of my people and the Nopon, it must be stopped. Melia... We can help you defeat it if you like. Out of pity? No. Why then? It's just... I... I want... Speak, Shulk. Or I shall be forced to summon the Nopon chief to interpret for me. I... would like to help. What could you possibly gain from aiding me? I saw it. At the top of a black tower. You and I were fighting together. Fighting that faced Mekon. I also saw you fighting a huge Telethia. It threw me the first time and all. Forgive me, Shulk. But what are you talking about? Short can see visions of the future. See the future? And you expect me to believe this rubbish? Believe what you want, lady. Same as I tell all the non-believers. <laughs> That'll be me, then. Oh, yeah! In any case, the only reason we got this far was because of Short's visions. If Short says he saw you in a vision, then you must be important to whatever happens next. And if you're tough enough to fight a face Mekon, you're all right in my book. You've got my vote. A lady should not go unaccompanied onto the battlefield. Excuse me? I... I am quite capable of dispatching the beast alone. I require no assistance of any kind. My dear, I apologize, but I could not help overhearing. Their offer sounds quite reasonable. The danger extends much further than our small dwelling. Machna itself is at risk. And we shall provide you with the finest warrior of our clan. Chief Dunga, I... Uh, no need for thanks. He is the equal, if not better, of the Hom Hom. You do know we're listening. The chosen Nopon hero will await you below. I shall go ahead and prepare him. Please, excuse me. A Nopon hero? Now this I have to see. Don't be like that. Let's meet him first.
May I introduce Herapon Ricky! against the daddy version. No one blink for a second. Okay. Eyes wide open. And don't forget that Melia is our only chance of making it to Eret's sea. If anything happens to our guide, it's on our heads. The Telethia is our target, but don't forget about the person standing next to you. Dungan's right. I am in your debt. My weaknesses are all too apparent. No worries, Melia. Formed of the Dino Beast, what you refer to as the Talethia. Be safe, my Hom Hom friends. Ricky's friends, listen to Ricky. Dino Beast is big and scary. Friends, get ready. Friends, help Ricky get ready. You want us to get equipment for you? Ricky's friend, right? Hum Hum Clever! Friends meet Ricky when ready. Then, friends and Ricky leave together. Big attitude for a furry footrest. Dino Beast is big and scary. Great. That'll come in handy. Is it just me, or did we suddenly become Nopon mercenaries?
ready to go. Come, new friends. Ricky's adventure begins. Ricky, you do know where the Telethia is, don't you? Of course Ricky know. Melly, Ricky hear you hurt Dino Beast. I did, but only a little. When Dino Beast hurt, Ricky know it go to place with ether crystals. Friends and Ricky go to place with crystals. Then we find Dino Beast. Chief, tell Ricky. Chief, always right. So you do know a thing or two about this monster. Guess we'll be searching for some ether crystals then. Ricky, why are you the Hereupon? Why? Because Chief Dunga chose Ricky. He chose you? So you weren't chosen from birth? Friend wrong. Chief choose by instinct. <coughs> by instinct? Why friend surprised? Chief have sharp instinct. Chief be village seer. So that's how you became the Hereupon. Can't argue with that. But he is kind of... compact. For a warrior hero. Oh, Ricky owe lots of monies to village. If Ricky defeat Dino Beast, village promise to forget my debts. So Ricky like being hero pon. I have become stronger.
how it is. I've given up the sword already. No, no. That's not it at all. I'm speechless. Backslash! Yeah! Backslash! Wow! Backslash! Backslash! The time has come. Prepare for it. Oh, yeah. Here we go! Wow! Done that! We're counting on you! Here it is! Get ready! Leave it to me! None can oppose us! Perfect! We win! I see your strength is the genuine article. Let's press off. Electric! Now I see there is strength in you. Oh, yeah. It's blowing through me. Oh, 
through that pretty good. Let's press on. Let us remain vigilant. What is this? Ricky never see before. This not Ricky's Machna. Ricky never see before. To think it has caused this much damage. What do you mean? Are you telling me that Telethia did this? Telethia absorb and drain the surrounding area of all its ether. That's it. The Telethia is sucking up all the ether, which is causing the natural environment to change. Shulk, the Telethia can read your mind. Expect it to know what you will do before you do it. I know. I'll aim for its antenna and stop its ability to read my thoughts. With the Monado at our side, it doesn't stand a chance. It's much more powerful than its offspring. Do not expect it to fall so easily. I won't. But we have to trust in the Monado. Shulk has only met Telethia once, and they were nearly this form. So why is he so sure of himself? Is it confidence, or a trust in something? Yes, it is trust. He trusts in the power of that sword. What did he say it was called? The Monado. Vengeance, my brethren, and fulfill my duty. Show, sure, I will trap it and cease its movement. Strike when the time is right. Melia. <sighs> Be still. Oh yeah, she's nifty with that stuff. I knew it. She can control ether energy without using catalysts or rifle shells. I've heard that such people exist. But I never thought she would be one. Shulk, right, Shala. Protect Melia at all costs. On it. Right. Electric Light Kill! 
Regenerative power is too much. It is all right, Shulk. Destroying the Telethia is beyond us. We should cut our losses and mourn those who perished. Never, Melia. The men you lost, I can tell they were dear to you. I know only too well that desire for revenge and the crushing pain of losing those close to you. I can't stand by 
and let another person experience what I have. This monster is going down. I'll trap him with the Monado. Then the rest of you, hit the Telethia with everything you have. Thank you. Ready? Brilliant thinking. Even though the Telethia can absorb large amounts of ether energy and regenerate at an incredible rate, absorbing so much energy caused it to implode. Who would have thought? Brute force wins again. Nothing like an old-fashioned scrap. Dixon would have been proud. It was the only way I could think of. If there had been another way... Don't listen to Dunban. Soon you and that Monado will be unstoppable. It's like a Tefra cave. It was almost natural, instinctive. The Monado responded to me, and I harnessed a new power. You'll get your chance, Shulk. We'll turn that face mech on into scrap. I know. That's what keeps me going. Hoggard, oh Garin, Damil Eisel. Are you there? I did it. It's dead, did you see? I thank you for your aid in my cause. Justice has been served. You're welcome. Besides, it was mostly you. Dino Beast! Hereupon Ricky ready for round two! Hey, hey! A fight over already? No, oh, Ricky not know! I'm afraid it's all finished. We couldn't have done it without you, brave little Hereupon. <laughs> <laughs> Ricky brave! Ryan also a little brave. Ricky happy happy! Here upon Ricky be proud! Here upon Ricky tough guy! Here upon Ricky bestest! Look at him. Barely hit a toe and he gets all the praise. <laughs> Let him have his glory. A few days ago, the villagers wouldn't give him the time of day. Besides, won't you miss him just a little bit? Chief Dunga, Ricky beat Dino Beast. Does Ricky still have debt? No, Ricky. Your debts are repaid. However, while you were gone, 
Your little pawns act like ravenous Oluga. It set Chief Dunga back quite a bit. No pawn, no frontier village. A new prophecy has been told. Our hero pawn, slayer of Dino Beast, will further his legend by accompanying the Hom Hom on their travels and bringing peace to the lands of Bayonis. Oh, Ricky never hear this. It was prophesied many years ago. Chief lying! Chief make a prophecy one minute ago! Oh, Ricky mad! Ricky! Go with these people! For the sake of the village, you must go! My instinct is never wrong. <gasps> Do not worry, Ricky. Your little puns will be taken care of. <laughs> Dadapon stomach rumble. Dadapon need food. Dadapon need food now. Dada, Ricky, what on by honest is going on? Friends, meet Ricky, wifey pon, and little pon. You have got to be joking. Wife and children. Ricky, how old are you? Ricky have 40 years. <laughs> oh, friends look puzzled. Not puzzled. Just surprised. Ricky! Oka borrow monies for Little Pond's food. Chief Danga know best. Ricky must work for Little Pond's to have good life. R Ricky will! Okay, Oka. Ricky, <laughs> happy to join friends. Ryan happy too. Come on, Furball. Now you can return with your head held high, my dear. <laughs> Indeed. Thank you, Dunga. My thanks for your gracious help. Not at all. Peace has been restored to the Makna region. On behalf of all Nopon, thank you. Chief Dunga is very fond of Melia. Same hom hom, different world. Not fair if you ask me. Chief Dunga, will you kindly grant these homs passage to Aerith Sea? It is my promise to them. Without question! These hom hom fought valiantly in aid of our village, and a request by you, my dear, cannot go unanswered. I shall inform the villagers at once. You are too kind. The chief has spoken. You should depart for Erith Sea at once. Prepare your things and see me when you are ready. <laughs> 